Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. We are now just a few days away from seeing the Nuka World on tour update come to Fallout 76 which is coming December the 6th and with it is bringing in a whole bunch of new stuff. In this video I'm going to cover 10 of the biggest changes and new features coming into the game that you should know about. Before we dive in though, for all of you that have completed the current season and looking for a game to enjoy while you wait, here is a word from today's channel sponsor. Today's channel sponsor is PUBG Mobile, one of the most popular free to play battle royale games with over 1 billion downloads in total. You can play as a solo, duo or in a squad in the battle royale mode as well as in one of its other 10 game modes including Team Deathmatch, Weapon Master or Arcade Mode. Right now PUBG Mobile is doing a collaboration with the one and only Lionel Messi, one of the world's most talented footballers and arguably the best ever. Download the game today to join the special time limited event for the 2022 World Cup. Complete the weekly activities linked with the event to unlock some really cool Messi content for free including free new messy skins, weapons, messy themed bag and bag ornaments, parachute, a messy themed plane and much more. There is also a new item in the game called Messi's Golden Shoes. These can be picked up in the game to give your player a sprint boost and also boost the effect making a football dribble like movement when you're running through the map. And that's not all. In celebration of the 2022 World Cup, PUBG Mobile is getting the Global Chicken Cup update, introducing a football themed in-game festival, adding lots of football themed content such as a football theme park, a football car and a new grenade called the Portable Football. Check out all of these great features coming to PUBG Mobile right now by following the link in the description. So one of the biggest new additions in the game is going to be the new Nuka World location coming into the game. This will be a location in the Ash Heap and is home to the Nuka Cade, the Wild West Town, the Spin the Wheel Carnival Tent and also the Tunnel of Love. This location also features some new vendors, NPCs and some mysterious seismic activity on top of the hill. The Nuka World on Tour update will also be adding in three new permanent public events. We have Spin the Wheel where players can try their luck at spinning the big carnival wheel which in turn will task you with defending the location from a bunch of randomised enemies such as Super Mutant Behemoths, Snallygasters or even the Imposter Sheep Squatch. The next public event is Most Wanted. This one is based in the Wild West Town where players will have to loot the area and defend off waves of robots all while trying to fill up the getaway wagon with your loot. It's a lot of fun and you're on a timer so be prepared to rush around and try and fill it up as quick as you can. The third event will see you enter the Tunnel of Love, an old ride which requires some repair work. Sounds very simple until you start getting attacked by more miners and maybe even a couple of cheeky death claws just to spice things up. To end the event you'll also have this little ceremony thing where a couple of robots get married. It's a bit random but it kind of fits in with the Tunnel of Love theme. Now by completing these free events, players will be rewarded with a new currency called Nuka Cade Points. These can be spent inside the Nuka Cade where players can interact with classic Fallout arcade machines like the Bottle Blaster and Wakakomi. Build up these Nuka Cade Points to go and buy yourself some rewards from the terminal inside. There's lots of different rewards to be had including an old weapon from Fallout 4 coming back into Fallout 76, outfits and also some camp items. Next on the list is something that some players have wanted for a long time and that is the new end game boss, the Ultrasight Titan. This is the biggest boss to ever be added into Fallout 76 and arguably takes the top spot for the best boss fight in my opinion. Similar to the other boss fights, players will have to nuke the area and in turn will spawn the Ultrasight Titan. The boss comes with some cool unique features as well as it is basically a giant mole rat so during the fight the Titan can dig back underground and change position. Of course during this time you cannot attack it or do any damage to it. It will also spawn giant Ultrasight veins which players will have to destroy with melee weapons before dealing any damage to the boss. It's also a level 110 which is like the highest we've seen and also has an army of mole miners trying to stop you from defeating it. So good luck with that one. 
With the new update we will also be getting a new camp building feature, allowing players to jump into the free camp building mode. This takes away the limitation of building with your character, you know how awkward it can be at times, walking around, maybe falling off the odd cliff or two, trying to walk around a tree and climb up a tree while building a camp. Well guess what, that's no more. This free camp build mode lets you wander around, you can phase through walls, items, whatever you wish, you can just go around basically hovering around with this camera in a kind of photo mode type of sense and just build as you like. One of the biggest and most controversial changes of this update is going to be the removal of legacy weapons in the game. I'm still getting tweets, comments and all sorts saying is it real, is it going to be happening and basically yeah it's meant to be as far as we all know in the PTS this is the last thing we've seen, they're gone. Now if you don't know what I mean by this, basically a legacy weapon is any weapon that was previously available in the game but then was later taken out of the loot pool. This includes the beloved explosive energy weapons with a new workaround in place stopping any energy ammo from being explosive. In the last PDS update Bethesda completely removed the legendary effects from these weapons though so if you've got one it's basically turned into a 2 star. For more detailed information on this check out my full breakdown of it after this video I, ask, I answer a lot of questions including like which weapons will be affected, which weapons won't be and loads of stuff like that so definitely check it out. On December the 6th we will also be getting the brand new Season 11 scoreboard. This one is Nuka Cola themed and in my opinion it is a lot better than the last season. It's got lots of cool items coming in including one that we'll talk about in just a moment and also a couple of things that's adding in new type of foods which give you different buffs and stuff like that so definitely keep an eye out. I recently posted a new video on this one covering all of the details and that is the new combat focus buffs called battle banners or scout banners, whichever one you want to call them. These will work in a similar way to lunchboxes but instead of granting XP buffs you will get buffs related to combat. These include repairing your weapons automatically during combat, highlighting enemies and boosting health and also your AP and also can repair your armor and stuff like that. At the minute these are available in the new season 11 scoreboard but we are yet to see whether these will be added in the atomic shop or even gold bullion vendors. For Fallout first users, this update will be bringing in a new feature with the addition of the new ammo box. This will come at no extra cost for Fallout first users and gives an unlimited storage box for ammo, working exactly the same as the scrap box. Sadly though, you won't be able to hoard fusion or plasma cores in here as they cannot be stored in there, same as gunpowder. But basically you go up to it, you put your ammo in and it takes all that weight out of your say stash box or your player and it just holds it all up for you, so happy days. Now finally at number 10 I wanted to show off a few of the new items set to be coming into the game. There's only a few that I'm actually showing off in here compared to how many is getting thrown in. There is literally a crazy amount that has been added in including new unique legendaries, outfits, camp items and even a bunch of new food. So lots of grind and look forward to testing out in this new update. But there we have it guys, that is 10 new features and changes coming into Fallout 76 with the new Nuka World on Tour update coming December the 6th. Let me know down in the comments which ones you're looking forward to the most and if you think I missed anything important let me know down in the comments as well. That's it for today's video though guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, I'll keep you up to date with everything Fallout 76 and don't forget to check out today's channel sponsor PUBG Mobile. Thanks for watching everyone, catch us later, bye bye.